guys, welcome back. Tactical Production 7 Air launching the first episode of Tactical Thursday. This is your boy Rain. And I would like to say thank you for tuning in. This is going to be the first episode in a long line of mod tutorials. So I want to get right into things. One of you guys wanted to see World Edit. So I'm going to be showing you how to install it and how to use the very basics of it. It'll make your life infinitely easier. Let's just get right into things. You want to make sure that your .minecraft is cleaned out. Always back up your saves, of course, but you know that already. And you want to you want to run Minecraft one time um, after you clean it all out, just to get all the folders that you need. So this is really straightforward. What you do is you want to double click your Forge installer. Please note that I'm on 1.7.10 because as far as I know, Forge has not updated for 1.8 just yet. Alright guys, you want to be absolutely positive that you choose install clients and you want to make sure that this path right here coincides with where your .minecraft folder is located. This should be fairly automatic so you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, you want to do this and then click OK. It'll download some libraries, it'll do some stuff all that jibber jabber so just chill out while it uh, while it's unpacking and stuff we'll give it a second <clears throat> sorry about that i think i'm coming down with the call but i'll i hope i'll be all right all right guys so successfully installed client profile forge for version 4 blah blah blah, blah, blah. everything is cool hit okay that is cool guys and this will sometimes pop up but just hit a board or whatever doesn't even matter so we're going to run Minecraft one time now to see that we have Forge and everything we need installed. And we also have to edit our user profile. So you want to come in here, you want to click edit profile. Then you want to choose use version. Let's see. 1.7.10. This is all right. Everything is good. You want to save it. Just make sure it's, it's correct. Then you want to do profile. You want to select Forge. Then you want to hit play. So it'll download some more stuff, it'll start up fairly quickly. There we go. And we're going to do full screen of course. There we go. And we have three modes loaded, three modes active. We can see this is Coder Pack, Forge Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge. This is correct. We can now quit the game. We want to continue by selecting our Light Loader Installer. You want to double click that one and you want to run it. Again, this is completely safe, don't worry about it. And install light loader recommended. This will this this will be unchecked. So you want to extend this from 1.7.10 Forge. So light loader and forge, they can work together, no problem at all. And once you've done that, all you want to do is hit OK. And it's created a new profile. Light loader 1.7.10 with forge. Alright. Once that is done, you'll need these two jar files. That's the mod world edit CUI and mod world edit wrapper. So what we want to do, we want to go into .minecraft. We want to locate our mods folders. If you do not have a mods folder, simply right click, choose new folder and create one named mods, just like that. You want to copy this, remove it and paste it in right there. And you are basically done. All that's left now is to launch your Minecraft and then we have to select what profile we want to use. Alright, so I'll show you how to do that. So this is Forge, this is no longer correct. We want to use Light Loader 1.7.10 with Forge. Alright, and we'll hit play. It'll download, it'll launch. This will take a bit longer now because it has to load up Light Loader as well. But it is so worth it. <laughs> Alright, so you'll see a brand new into our starting game initializing all this is correct don't even worry about it go full screen you should have a little tab up here right now light loader 1.7.10 two mods loaded if you click that there we go world edit world edit wrapper everything is cool we can close that one and we can go into our world i've just um, created a simple world called mod tester we want to play that world <coughs> all right guys so we've spawned in we can fly, of course, because I'm in creative. Um, th th this is basically what you do. So if you hit T and it's type slash slash, 
slash slash and wand you'll get yourself the wooden axe i also like to choose from tools the wooden pickaxe this is what you need guys so basically what you can do with this is you can select entire areas for example if i wanted to make a solid structure of blocks right here i could do like this pillar up i want to kill that cow now and i can select an area and you'll get an outline so everything inside this line will be filled with the block that you select so if i do set grass we got grass and there's a cow dying <laughs> Yeah, basically that's how it works and you can do like slash slash undo slash slash undo I'm sorry to make it all go away and let me now just cut to my other world because I'm going to show you a bit more in-depth editing with world edit I will be all right, right guys welcome back as you can see things have changed radically I'm now on the server build um, I wasn't really going to show you guys this, but I figured you deserve a treat being so patient and all that stuff. So let me go ahead and fly over to the area where we will, will where we will be working today. Um, I'm going to use the wooden pickaxe and I'm going to do some brushing. So I want to let you guys in on how that works and uh, basically how I use world edit <clears throat> the way I like to use it. There's obviously a bunch of more commands you can use, all that good stuff. I will include links and everything you could need to to get yourself informed about how to use that stuff. And I will, of course, be able to help you with uh, any issues you might experience whatsoever. Alright, so let me just fly out of the city right now. This is going to be... This is the area that you're going to come in through on your way into the city. So, and we'll see about this. All this is customly done. Uh, this is not my map. Um, this is a free downloadable map from um, Jerocraft, a real cool guy. I've actually spoken to him. He's, he's super friendly, super cool. He has a lot of amazing builds. So all I've done is downloaded his map and I've made a few changes to it myself using World Edit, of course, while I'm, while I'm in the game. So what we're going to be doing right now, guys, is we're going to brush out the area around the bend here a bit more so that we can get a little bit more of a feel for the map. Because this is supposed to be an island, so we need to make it a bit more randomly made. So you can see this. I've already started right here. So I'm going to be finishing off this part right here today. And you guys can help me work, yeah? So let me just select my brushes. Now, you remember we used the wooden axe right here. Now we're going to use the wooden pickaxe. So I'm going to do brush sphere and I'm going to select sand because it's it's a, a, a material you can manipulate quite easy. I'm going to choose to mask air. All right. Then I'll choose size four, I think will be good. Six, six, six is max. So. I'm just going to start brushing out sand right here. You'll see the sand falling down like this. You'll excuse the lag, of course. <laughs> it's not anything I can do to make it stop. But yeah, this is basically how I create hillsides and stuff. Bring on the lag. All right. So we see we're getting a nice build up right now. And I'm trying to keep this all randomized for us so it'll look natural and still look cool. See, we want to fill this part right here in a bit as well. I see. I'm gonna go ahead and be as thorough as we can. And uh, once we feel we have enough sand brushed around so that it looks the way we want it to look, we'll go ahead and just top this off here. Easy does it like that. Yes. You're also going to be prone to lagging, so if if you have extra RAM in your computer you'd be wise to allocate some more RAM. If you do not how, know how to do that, you let me know in the comments and I will give you all the necessary information to allocate more RAM to your system. It'll make Minecraft load faster. It'll make your game run smoother. I have nothing but good things to say about it. So 
I'm thinking right about there-ish should be good. So what we want to do now is wanna, we, we want to brush this smoothly. So we're going to do slash brush smooth. We're going to use size 6 for this. Like that. And I'm going to type it the right way so it works. Size 6. Sorry about that, guys. And as you can see, I'm just holding down right click right now. And it'll, it'll brush out the whole area so that it looks less randomized. It'll look much better, see? Building it up, just building it up here. Using smooth motions. Building it up, yeah, sort of like that. And we don't want our whole hillside to be covered in sand, right? So what we want to do is we want to still use the wooden pickaxe. And right now we're going to mask some material, all right? I'm going to show you how to do that as well. All right, so we're going to do brush sphere grass and we want to mask sand see and we want to choose our size we want to go with the size six because we want this to be done quickly and every time i right click right now it'll mask sand see so all the sand will be turned into grass how cool is that epic epically good deal like this oh yeah and this won't affect anything else, so if I turn it to the stone, nothing's going to happen. But the second I come across some sand, it'll turn to grass instantly. Which makes life so much easier, because this would be like a huge project to terraform. And as you can see, the grass doesn't stay grass forever. It'll turn to dirt, just like normal. Right, now we want to do this. We want to do this part right We want to make this stone so it'll look more massive and like it'll support some stuff so i'm gonna do brush brush sphere stone and the sand is already masked as you can see we have a much more tiny brush right now so we want to do size six on that as well we want to brush all of this into stone that looks cool and when you're underwater and brushing you have to be fairly close to it to make it work we just want to leave a bit of sand here and there keeping it randomized you know so that it'll look more natural all of this shit that's it'll despawn but it, it can lag if you haven't got got enough ram allocated and stuff but um, i'm sure you guys will be fine we're doing like this bit of that bit of this that is cool so yeah we've done one hillside right now this used to be flat and boring. Oh, you got a sneak peek on the server spawn as well. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed. If you do have any more questions, if you want to see something else from World Edit, um, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to get one more video out there for you guys. <laughs> Look at all this sand. <laughs> and we'll, we'll, we'll get it sorted out. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I will catch you in the next Factical Thursday. This is Rain saying goodbye, guys.